Hi, I'm Photo Junkie from the PhotoshopBus.co.uk. So in this tutorial, I thought I would show you how to do a winter scene like this. So we're going to take a this photograph, and we'll end up with something like this. So kind of inspired by the terrible weather we've been having in Britain and all the snow. Uh, so let's get started. Let's just uh, revert this image and let's start by unlocking this layer so I'm going to press alt and double click on the padlock and that will unlock it without having to name it or anything I'm going to press ctrl J to make a copy of that layer and I'm going to come up to filter select and color range and I'm going to sample some of these colors on the floor so I'm going to hold down the shift which will just put a little plus by my eyedropper which will allow me to sample more of the colours and if I want to take some away then it's all so I don't want the front of this um, hut uh, let's see how we do with that so I'm going to click OK so now we've got a selection I'll zoom in you should be able to see them marching ants there so let's now add a layer mask so come down to layers planet palette and down the bottom we've got the add layers mask button so we'll click that so now we've masked all them that selection so now we want to turn that to snow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a huge saturation adjustment layer so I'm click holding down alt so when I click on hue saturation or any adjustment layer while holding down alt I get the option to clip it so that's going to clip it into this um, layer that I masked selection on and then I'm just going to turn the lightness white up, right up, white up, right up and that will give us something like that now it's a little bit sharp so I'm going to click on the layer mask and if I hold down alt and click on it you can see what's happening so remember shift disables the layer mask and alt hides and well, and all will show you the mask itself, the um, black, white, and grey values. So let's do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and probably choose something like 0 0.4. So we'll do a preview. You can see it's softened up a little bit, so we'll click OK. So now I'm going to add a photo filter, so adjustment layer photo filter, I'm not going to clip it this time, I'm going to choose cooling filter and just turn it up a little bit, like so, maybe a little bit more, then I'm going to add a vibrance, I'm going to desaturate it just a little bit and turn the vibrance up, then I'm going to add uh, curves and just to give it a bit more contrast and then levels maybe just to punch it a little bit more okay now I'm going to take all these layers and merge them onto their own layers I'm going to hold down control alt come to the flyer and choose merge visible put them on their own layer and I'm going to come up to filter lens correction and this is where we're going to give it that vignette in so we come to custom vignette and take it back click OK and then filter lens correction do it again now we need to add the snow so we press a new layer shift F5 fill it with 50% grey come to filter uh, just while I'm creating the noise for the snow I'm going to convert it to a smart filter and I'm going to go filter noise add noise that should be fine click OK filter blur blur more you have to blur this noise a little bit for the levels to work to do what you want it to do so clip a levels adjustment layer into that same way holding down alt while choosing the adjustment layer and then something like that and then I'm going to control click to select 
them two top layers and do Control E to merge them. Now I'm going to do Control T, scale out, make this big so it's big pieces of snow. And do a Control J, Control T, and I think I'll just spin that and then do Control T again, not Control T, Control J, then Control T, make them a bit smaller. Then Control J, Control T, make these ones even smaller than that. Okay. Now we want to change these to screen. Like so, and let's just start blurring these. The back one, go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll probably give it maybe four pixels the next one up we're gonna blur it about 2.5 and the next one up we'll just do a blur more and the top one maybe we'll do a blur so that way we kind of have um, different size snowflakes and give them a kind of sense of depth by adding some blur. Um, so there's our winter scene. Obviously you could take a lot more time um, and precision on the one you create but there are some basic methods to create this scene. So we can just hold down alt, that's all I'm doing here, holding down alt and clicking on the eye of the layer and that will just switch between our image the original image. Yeah, hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my tutorial and hundreds more like it at photoshopbus.co.uk and enter some of our competitions there. So until the next time, I'm Photo Junkie and catch you later.